it going boys and girls, Darby here and welcome back to another Ranked Duel video and today we are doing something that I haven't seen. I, I saw last, I saw in season 9 when, for the uh, month or two I was playing. A lot of Loki players do and that was go first item Belt of Frenzy and then once you hit level 5, Frenzy, Alt and you used to be able to get a kill. But that was back when the meta was ruled by gods that could just AFK farm for late game. Now, okay, well, we can't go first item fucking Belt of Frenzy, so there goes that out the window. But um, now, now the meta is just filled with early game gods. Gods that have insane amounts of pressure early and late game. I mean, early game that push it into late game. And gods like Fenrir and Hebo and... Um, Hades, like, Loki's gonna have an insanely hard time playing into gods like that, so, sure this is gonna be fun, we'll make do with what we can, and if you do find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe, once we hit 250 subs, we will be doing our first ever A to Z series, which will be fun, I'm sure. Okay, everything seems good, I put two points into my two because there's not a chance in hell I can even step up right now. I'm just going to have to play around 2 the wave, and then AFKing under tower for a little bit, which is going to be very fun, I'm sure. I know last season Loki was considered decent, but um, I've heard multiple content creators say that Loki is terrible right now. And um, I don't know if that's true, because I feel like late game he'll still, still burst, but apparently it's just because he missed both of his abilities. So he's just a basic Fender player. Um, I know a lot of people like Gotcharon and Rexy think that Loki is actually in a terrible spot right now. That Loki is like very, like he's bottom tier basically. That's what I've heard a lot of people say. Let's hope he doesn't jump this wall and steal this because then I'll be very upset. And I can see why. This is definitely not a good matchup because early game Fenrir can do literally anything and I can't stop him. Mid game Fenrir can do literally anything and I can't stop him. In late game he just saves his ult for my ult and then I still lose the fight I think. But maybe the frenzy will make it. Maybe we could bait down his ult and then the frenzy will make it so we absolutely demolish him. I'm just gonna walk up into the wave. It's gonna be a very boring start, so get ready for that. Okay, so he missed both abilities on me and has more health than me. There's so many Fender players. I feel like the average Fender player isn't even. Like non Fenrir main, just people jumping on him now because he's S tier. I feel like most of them aren't even good. I'm not saying this guy's bad, I'm just saying in general. What is this? I don't think I need to ult this yet. I'll ult when I get out, I guess. I mean, beads. I don't think I need to beads. I could have beads, I mean, altered that immediately when he casted his ult, but I didn't think about that. Did he land his 1 or his 3 on me? Or is that literally just his ult? No, 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 no. Alright! I feel like he missed 4 out of five is a, four out of 6 of his abilities and he still just killed me. So easily. Clear one more wave than dip. Dude, I feel like every time I record, the car just comes in. Yeah, he landed a jump and two autos. I landed a one, two, and two autos. And I'm half dead and he is full health. Okay, that was stupid. Okay, that was even more stupid. Just waiting for my one to come up. 
Okay, why did my ult fucking go nowhere? He takes four tower shots. And I landed- he takes four tower- five tower shots. And I landed everything. There, there's just no way that worked. Everything he did, you should never do as Fenrir. He played that just so horribly, but it worked. I landed so much more than him. I landed like triple what he landed, and it just didn't matter. That is crazy. He ulted nothing and then ran under tower with 300 health. Yeah, he had like 800 health, but still. Also, when I casted ult on him, why did it go nowhere? My ult literally didn't fucking move, basically. Who cares? Let's go, go get minis. And then we'll back. We have two on breastplate, run back the lane. Now you see me, now you don't. And with the new change, Fenrir also just gets base pen in his kit, scaling per level from the assassin's buff or the class change in general. A hunters get auto attack damage. Okay. I landed a 1, a 3, a 2, and 2 autos, and his 1 out damaged me. He tanked the tower shot to hit me with an auto. Bro, like, what is that? He landed nothing! He's play- I feel like he also played that horribly. I mean, I guess I played it bad too, because I fucking stepped up. My one only did 150 damage. <laughs> just ape Kander Tower, I guess. Even if he tanks six tower shots, misses two out of four abilities, and I land everything, including alt, I still don't win the fight. I don't know what this is. I'll walk past that. Hey, fucking never mind. What? What? Why did? How did you do twelve hundred damage? You landed an alt and an auto. Easy. Your middle tower is under. I actually just can't defend this. <laughs> That's fun, yeah. Okay, get me out. Fuck that. Half health, out of position, no relics, no alt, nothing up, and I use a full combo and do literally no damage. Alright, dude. Okay. <clears throat> Fuck that motorbike. How is it going, boys and girls? Darby here, and welcome back to another Ranked Duel video. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I just tried this out, and it went fucking horrible. I... So last season, something a lot of Loki players would do is... They would get Belt to Frenzy first relic, and then off of first ult, get a kill. And um, late game, Belt, you pop Frenzy right before ulting, and then you one-tap literally anyone, no matter what they're building. So I thought, hey, what if I try that? I've never tried that. And of course, I like to do a fucking Fenrir who abuses all of his early game pressure, like he should, obviously. But then, the crazy part is, he was diving tower, hit, taking five, six tower shots to hit me with one, one, and two autos. And his one, one, and his two autos out damaged my one, my two, and six tower shots. And then he got my tower at the four minute mark, and then he was just gonna go do bull demon. And there's literally nothing I could do against that. He was literally, he was tanking tower through an entire fight early game with no defense and still just beating me and there was nothing i could do so i surrendered and we're gonna try this again the problem with loki right now is that the meta is very early game based you want gods that can just get online and a lot of gods can just snowball brainlessly like fenrir and hebo those gods can just snowball without having to use any brain cells 
And so I need a god that cannot poke me under tower. Because as a Loki, for the first few minutes, I need a center tower. God damn it. I still don't win this. Um, and Fenrir used to not be able to do that. But now Fenrir can, apparently. He can live underneath my tower and there's nothing I can do about it. Unfortunately, Hebo can also poke me under tower really easily. There's just no way he wins this. He fucking won that! How? Okay. Well, he has triple buff control. I mean, I know I'm a Loki, but when he's 30% HP and I'm full health, I definitely did not think that that was even possible. I can't go for his blue, can I? He has ult. I just die if I do. Okay, he has triple buff control. Fun. Unfortunately, Hebo can also p poke me under tower without even having to put himself in danger. Fenrir kind of had to put himself in danger. But the god's so busted that it doesn't matter. Hebo can sit outside the tower line and then just poke my tower down and then 3 me if I even think about playing the game. The late game, I should have a much easier time into him than a Fenrir. He can also ult my ult, but if he's ulting my ult, it's not hitting me. Fenrir ult kills me when he ults my ult. So hopefully this will be a little better. I don't think so though. Loki has such a small amount of health too, so Hebo's poke does so much. What the fuck was that? You, uh, you that was one of the worst plays I have ever seen. <laughs> level 5, level 6, no defense, diving a tower with 80% health. When a tower hits you for 32% of your health. 3 tower shots and he should have died. He survived 4 somehow. Okay, yeah, alright. That... Yeah, dive my tower at level 6 with no defense, no show, nothing up. Sentence. I just need my two to be able to clear back minions. That's all I need. And with trains in my two at level four, that should be clearing back minions, I think. If he wants my blue, it's his. I don't think I can stop. I can ult him, actually. He has no ult up. His ult's back up. And I'm dead again. Your middle tower is under attack. All right. So I can get tier two breastplate, I guess. Or, um, Genji's. Your middle tower is 
That should clear back minions by now. That still doesn't clear back minions. He just tanked four tower shots to do to hit two abilities. He should just be dead here. There's just no way he's still winning that trade! He tanked four tower shots! Four! I frenzied and full comboed him! My frenzy plus a full combo and four tower shots, and he's still not even in fucking places to get dead. To die. Of course, that's just up again. He was gonna try to scare him here. No, he actually just backed. Alright. Dude, what the fuck is this game? It's actually crazy how many mistakes players like these two players can make, and it just doesn't matter. Five! Five tower shots! He just tank five tower shots and it didn't fucking matter again! What is this game? Okay. You know, I'm always very honest when I talk about stuff like this. And this is my third attempt of, oh my fucking god, dude. Am I just unlucky? Am I- am I just unlucky? I think I have to be the most unlucky player in the world today. Okay, so... Okay, the problem with Loki... Is that he can get poked out. He needs the tower early game to live. For the most part, from what I've seen against these early game gods. And... I keep playing against gods that can sit at the end of the tower and poke me out. And then I just lose the game because they get my tower immediately. Go for bull demon before I deal damage. Because Loki doesn't deal damage until halfway through the game. Literally. Even the minions do more than Loki. And of course, I'm playing against the king of poke under tower, Tsukiyomi. You can literally poke the tower from not in tower. Alright. I'd usually be very happy. You bitch. We were having a moment. Yeah, that hit before it did, dealt damage to me. That didn't hit him? Ow. <sighs> Very predictable. It doesn't fucking matter, though. I feel like this is gonna go even worse than the others. Yeah, he can evade my buff. There's literally nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I don't fucking know. I'm just so upset. I'm tired of playing Loki. Holy shit. I'm so bored. I'm just so bored at this point. Got a red buff at least. I'm just dead. 
I just I'm just dead again. I'm just throwing. I need to stop playing this game. I I'm so fucking defeated by this challenge. Like I'm losing to players that are not insanely good at the game. And I'm not insanely good at the game either, but I feel like fucking whatever, dude. I don't know. I'm so defeated by this challenge. He can also ult my ult late game, but I feel like there's not a single chance I get there because I need my power and he's a Tsukiyomi. It's transcendence at least, there's something. Why is my one not dealing damage again? I feel like that definitely connected. His three autos outdamaged every single one of my abilities put together. Dude, this guy plays like a literal AI. Like, I do bot matches with smite bots all the time. And this guy plays like a literal AI. Like, at this point, an AI would ult me knowing I had Aegis. And then he would just die. Because that's a terrible play. Like, that's actually what an AI would do. Alright, and he should die now. He has 200 health. Yeah, like, that was the worst possible play you could have made. No decent player is gonna do what you just did. But don't fucking matter, I'm Loki! Don't worry! 200 health, and he says, Yeah, what if I dive tower? Like, yeah, genius, bro. Great play. Well, that was really big for us, getting a double revenge kill. Triple revenge kill. He, uh, he killed me again before I got the revenge kill. I need to block some of his damage from my tower. Maybe I should stop doing that and just wait for the minions to get in. Your middle tower is under attack. Still can't even afford breastplate. I'm gonna step up and try to clear the wave before he gets back. And I'm dead. I'm actually dead. This ult mean I die now. I was just kidding. You uh you don't tower again, didn't you? That is like the thirteenth time today I've seen a mediocre player take three tower shots and still kill me under tower. I don't know if I said this, but I saw there was a Hebo that took six tower shots and killed me under tower. A Hebo, yes. A Hebo, a character known for being like the third squishiest character in the entire game. And he's tanking six tower shots, plus my entire combo. Oh Darby, you're just misplaying. You don't play this character perfectly. What, you only have four games on Loki? You don't play this character perfectly, so I'm gonna be upset about it. Of course I'm not playing perfectly. But the plays that these players are making are even worse. Like that. 
That's the fourth time that I've used my one and then just watched him use his entire kit before he can even see me. Like, like these are players just gonna sit there and wait for a moment. He's tanking tower shots when he doesn't have to. He's a Tsukiyomi one trick. You think he would know that he could deal damage to the tower without stepping into the tower? This has probably been the most angry I have ever been recording a video. Okay, cool. I actually had kill potential there since the brainlet stepped up half health, nothing up. And my one hits him, I wait a minute, hit him with another one, then full combo him and he dies. But of course, the second the brainlet would have died, a fucking course, the game freezes, because Hyrus is a great company. Ah, uh, Vegas, so I should be fine. Never mind, my fucking tower's dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I think I'm done with Smite for the day. Holy fucking shit, I have never been this bored in a game of Smite. I'm sorry, but the three players I played today are not insanely good players that would stop me like this. Of course, I'm not playing perfectly, but holy fuck does this character just suck. Th I thank you all for, if you made it this far, holy shit, you were a trooper. I wouldn't have made it this far. I'm so fucking bored of this game right now. So nonetheless, I hope you all have an amazing night and peace.